Hey guys, it's Tanya and it is the night before my tummy tuck, my abdominoplasty. Um, today is Tuesday, November 12, 2013 and I went to my plastic surgeon this afternoon and I got my markings for my reconstructive surgery. Um, so just a little update, um, last Friday I did get a call from the surgical center and they went over all the different supplements I'm taking and they did ask me to stop taking vitamin A so I wanted to make sure everybody um, that I got that out there. I'm still getting conflicting information about whether it's appropriate to take vitamin A, so I'm going with what they told me not to do. So I'm not taking it anymore. I stopped it on, um, I think I might have already taken it on Fridays, but I haven't taken it since then. Also, a couple of things I wanted to say uh, that I forgot about. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm getting an almost two, well, like a few days shy of two years out, and I'm still getting new growth in my hair. So I just, I've been forgetting to tell y'all that. Um, and then the other thing is, um, two weekends ago I went Victoria uh, Secret shopping. I got the new panties, which was a little bit of a you know uncomfortable situation. But I also got new bras. And something that I thought was really interesting is when I started this whole thing, I was I think a forty four double D. And when I got to my I guess goal weight, my stable weight, um, back in. August, somewhere around there, I went Victoria's Secret shopping and uh, my bra size had gone down to a 36B, which was, you know. <laughs> but when I went shopping this time, I am back up to a C. So that's good. So now I'm a 36C, which is exactly where I'm happy to be. Reinforces that I'm not needing any breast work done. So won't be getting the boobs done anytime soon or ever, I don't think. So anyway, I'm um, going to show the markings. When I went to my surgeon today, we talked about, um, well, she took before pictures without any markings on, like totally butt naked. Um, and then we did the markings, and we took more pictures with the markings on there. I talked about um, spending the night in the surgical center, uh, the drains. She's said, I'll probably have one drain, possibly two. She said, it depends on you know what it looks like when she gets in there. So one side will have a drain, the other side will have the pain pump. Um, the lipo, she marked up the lipo, so I'm going to show you all that. She said that that's probably going to be the worst of it. She said it's going to probably feel like I got kicked in the hip by a horse. She said it's going to, that's going to be the more painful part. Something interesting that she said was about the muscle repair. She said from do, when doing the markings, I mean, they're pulling and tugging and I mean like they're manhandling you when they're doing that. It's not a super pleasant feeling. Um, but obviously it's necessary to get the markings and the measurements right. But she said she's not sure if she's going to have to do a full muscle repair on me because from what she could feel, she didn't feel like my muscles were separated. And she asked me, you know, you know she said, you exercise a lot, a lot, right? And I said, yeah, I do. And I've, over the last like six months or so, maybe even yeah, longer than that, because I think in January I was already working on my abs. Um, I've been working on it. She said she can tell. And she didn't feel like my muscles were separated. And she asked me how big my kids were when I was pregnant. And I told her. She asked me how I carried. She said that there's some people, um, their muscles don't separate during pregnancy. Some people, their muscles stretches this way and not horizontally. And so she said that might have been the situation for me. So I may not have a lot to repair to pull it in. She said if I have a little bit, she'll do just a few stitches. She'll do whatever's necessary to make it like it should be okay so if that's nothing it's nothing and if it's a little bit it's a little bit and if it's a lot it's a lot so but I guess until you open the person up and see what the muscles look like underneath you don't really know 100% for sure so well I'll go with whatever she's gonna do um, what else uh, nothing to eat or drink after midnight I've done I was planning on doing three days of liquids and then I got kind of paranoid about not getting enough um, protein in so I have basically just been doing um, liquids and mushies. So like yogurt, I had shrimp salad, shakes. I did have protein bars to kind of bump up my protein. And um, I have had turkey jerky. So just things that are like super high in protein to keep my protein levels. Most days I've been between like 120 and 140 grams of protein a day. So I think I'm good there. And I talked to her about that and she said, you're so smart. Uh, you're doing all the right things. I told, oh, that's the other thing. So Sunday, I spent like two or three hours cleaning this whole bathroom. It's probably the cleanest it's been since we moved in. Uh, like hands and knees, bleach water, everything. It is spick and span. I'm going to wipe everything down again with bleach water because I am super paranoid about infection. And I talked to her about that. She said, since we're going to be at the surgical center, 
it's less likely that you'll be ex I'll be exposed to germs that would cause those kinds of infections. Um, I'll be getting to say too, my, my uh, surgeon's name is um, Eileen Summer Black. She goes by Summer, so Summer Black. She's in a practice with her father, Elliot Black. And my surgery is going to be at the Louisiana Surgical Center of the, is that it? the surgical, what is it, John? Crescent City Surgical Center. Thank you, Crescent City Surgical Center in New Orleans. Well, it's actually in Metairie, but that's a suburb of New Orleans. Um, I am 39, I'm 5'7", I'm about 165. Um, I've basically been having my whole life, and so I have a lifetime of stretching. So um, the skin is not going to be perfect, and she did talk to me about realistic expectations, but afterwards, I don't have the skin of a 20-year-old, I don't have the skin of a 30-year-old. I have the skin of a stretched out, priorly obese person. So I'm still going to have not, you know, like a firm, I have a lack of elasticity, I guess is what it is. So, um, I may still have some lumps and bumps. It's just, I'm not getting new skin. It is what it is, but it's going to be way better than it, it is now. So I'm going to be thankful for what I end up with. I know it's going to be flat. It just may not be smooth. Like you see, like these young girls when they get a uh, tummy tuck. So, all right, without further ado, I'm going to show the permanent markings, okay? Let me just, I'm going to make sure I get this all. This is, um, and to the Naked November series. I'm bringing it to a whole new level. Um, when the surgical center called on Friday to ask me all the questions, and I got, that's when I got, like, whew, like excited, and I, and I put on Facebook, that's when the shit got real, because it got real real quick. Okay, these are some of the new Victoria's Secret undies. And this is with the permanent marker. All right, so I'm gonna try and drop this down without I was showing all my business. Well, first let me show, these, this is where the um, liposuction's gonna be. All right, just got the little target marked. All right. And she's going a bit lower than she thought she would. And, pubic area, which is fine by me. Okay, so I want to pull it up to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so it's going to be straight like that. So like I have to pull the skin all the way up to show the line will be straight and low. Okay, it's going to come out to here. I think this is where my drain will be. And then I, this is where the pain pump will be. She's coming up a bit higher than she originally thought doing liposuction here, this will fold in so that the two lines meet, you know, all the skin will go away and that will come in. This will flatten out and then the whole thing will get pulled down and this line will meet this line up here in the middle like that, basically. So you can see I still have stretch marks. I'm still going to have stretch marks. Um, that's not going to go away. I did ask her too about, um, I have, like if I stand here, you can see I have like a line, like a droopiness here. I asked her if this was going to help. She said that she tells people no, um, but it probably will help a little bit. And like if I pull in, you can kind of see it does kind of smooth out slightly. It, it basically changes shape, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, I didn't even realize I had that line until we did pictures on Sunday like before pictures, and I realized I had this like droopiness in my back, who knew? Um, what else, what else, what else? Let me pull my pants back up, because I feel funny standing with my pants down. Um, I did take other before pictures in clothes without my shapewear, because I normally wear shapewear all the time. Um, so I, hopefully I can do before and afters, like week one, week two, week three, and kind of do side by sides. Uh, tonight I'll be bathing with dial soap, um, and then tomorrow morning I'll have to get up and shower again using dial soap, that, you know, for antibacterial. Um, and I think that's it. I plan on taking lots of video in the hospital, so you expect some doped up videos, which that should be interesting. And I plan on documenting a lot, um, during my recovery because I want people to really get a good feel for what I'm going to be going through. I did ask my doctor about, um, Arnica Montana, the supplement. She wasn't totally familiar with it. I'm going to start taking it immediately after I come out of surgery. You take the five tablets um, three times a day. Um, I think you let it dissolve under your tongue, so I'm bringing that with me to the hospital. And um, 
that's about it. I will check in again in the morning and we'll probably accumulate the videos throughout the day and do like a day one, day two, and so on until like it's too boring. All right. Wish me luck. I will check in tomorrow. Bye guys.